Microinjection of Xenopus lavus oocytes followed by thin sectioning electron microscopy is an excellent system for studying nucleocytoplasmic transport. In this experiment, oocytes are defoliculated with collagenase, and stage 6 oocytes are selected and placed in a multi-well dish. The oocytes are then microinjected with a nuclear import substrate. After incubation of the oocytes at room temperature to allow the substrate to enter the nucleus, the oocytes are fixed and dissected. The dissected oocytes are embedded in low melting agarose, fixed again with osmium tetroxide, dehydrated, and embedded in an epoxy resin. The epoxy embedded samples are sectioned with an ultra microtome, and the sections are placed on a copper EM specimen grid. After staining, the sections are visualized under a transmission electron microscope. Hi, I'm Sarah Cohen from the laboratory of Dr. Nelly Pante in the Department of Zoology at the University of British Columbia. I'm Shelley Ao, also from the Pante Lab. Today we will show you a procedure for microinjection of Xenopus lavis oocytes. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study nuclear import of cargo such as viruses. So let's get started. To get started with the experiment, place a small piece, about 2 centimeters, of Xenopus lavis ovary into a 50 milliliter conical tube containing 20 milliliters of collagenase solution. Collagenase removes the follicle cells which surround the oocytes. Then place the tube on a shaker platform and rock it gently at 100 RPM for 30 minutes. This time varies with different...